have to bargain, I have to bargain. Good morning. It's currently 8 o'clock on Saturday morning and I'm about to step out to go to Camp Kunji in Nairobi to go and uh, purchase a few kitchen essentials. I need an additional two or three saucepans. I need some spoons, forks. I need some trays. A few things here and there. So that's where I'm headed right now. I actually woke up late. I set the alarm at uh, 6 a.m. but here I am it's already 8 a.m. and I'm not even out of the house so that's where I'm headed now I'm taking you guys with me so let's go you know when you go to Camp Kunji, it's downtown it's next to Gikomba market you have to dress down you have to have your bargaining power on point and stuff there is not overrated it's uh, a reasonable reasonably priced so that's where I'm heading right now. Let's go and shop for a few kitchen essentials here and there as we prepare to move out of this space. So I'm still recovering from the flu, guys, but today I feel better. I still have a lot to do also because this house has been in a total mess in the last few days still gonna be messy in the next few days until we move out so yeah let's go and shop for a few things i have a list here with me because you can't go shopping without a list so with this economy you just have to stick to your list so let's go out and see how the day is gonna turn out to be So many things to choose from. I'm so exhausted guys but at least I got what I wanted so it's time to go back home this is way long after I'm back in the house I have rested enough I showered so let's take a look at what I got today uh -huh. we have this mikaki you see this these are six and I got them at 300 Kenya shillings same case to these forks right here I mean they are nice they are nice you look at them at least you can see some degree of quality for these then uh, here are the saucepans there are four of them they costed me 1400 of course after bargaining because hey i have to bargain i have to bargain i actually wanted the ones with the uh, handles but 
the budget did not allow me because they were a bit costly but we'll go back and get some more when budget allows so for now we we'll stick with this mm -hmm. then uh, a few more things a tray the saucepan and uh, a few more things maybe something else to caution you guys beware of those people who line up outside the malls because they can misguide you then you will end up purchasing low quality stuff at very high prices so just if you don't know where you're going or where you can get whatever you're going to buy go there accompanied by a person who is familiar with that place alternatively move from one shop to another dedicate enough time like go there when you have enough time to walk around walk around identify things which you want to buy and um, i'm sure you get something nice at affordable prices because prices at camp country when you get used to shopping there i'm telling you that you no longer shop some things from other places let me just use that word i don't want to spoil business for people because yes you have to be wise you have to be wise but Camp Kunji is a place to go when you want to furnish like or rather upgrade your kitchen uh, kitchen stuff decor i mean like everything is available at Camp Kunji it all depends with what you want and um where you want to buy it from another thing you might find useful to consider is uh if you want to go for bulk shopping at Camp Kunji, just push it to the last last week of the month. I found today's deals more welcoming, sweeter, because they were somehow pocket friendly. And again, the traffic wasn't that high, which means I could easily move from one shop to another, from one mall to another, identifying things which I loved. Then, uh, as I've advised you, don't shop on the first shop that you stop at. Move around, look for options. Mm -hmm.